I'm going to give you a few more uh, out of this. I've got yes. like about 30. I'll try and pick the best ones for you. Uh, I always ask this one, and it's always the same name, Smelliest Wrestler. Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you may say the same name, but uh, there was actually these twins from Texas. I can't remember their names, uh, and they're they, they, they were they were horrible. They're so bad that we did a rib on them. We did a bunkhouse. I mean, we did a we did a uh, a battle royal at the end of a show, and Sting and I all got in it, and we actually brought tape, and we got the guys in the corners, taped them, and we brought in water bottles and soap, and gashed them with soap <laughs> and shit. And Sting jumped out of the ring and left those both in there. It was the worst thing we've ever done. It exposed the business. Um, I cannot re- remember the were tag. They, were they the Colossal Kongs? Yes. Yes. I've only yes. just heard of them today because I was looking for something about the Shopmaster. And, and yes. How crazy is that as a coincidence? They smell like ass. And and, <laughs> and, 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 here, and, and here's what pisses here's what would piss you off, too. They were disgusting. And they were so big and so fat. And so when you were coming down a road, you would know what car they're in because one would sit up and drive. The other one would be in the back seat of a Cadillac with the seat all the way up because they were so fat. They could not sit in the same car. They had to sit. And they, they would never wash their wrestling gear. So by your seventh eighth day, you can imagine. And, and a lot of times you would see them in the car in their gear. Like oh no so so I don't know who uh, who's some other names people have thrown out on that one. Uh, there's generally only two or three: Vader, Balls Mahoney, and whoever. Balls. Is it like is it like icy hot or something like that? They used to rub in the muscles. No, what, yeah, what's yeah, that glistening yeah. stuff. Apparently, everyone used to stink um, from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? A lot of people and I I made fun of them, and in the last two years, I couldn't. I could. I, I became allergic to it too. Uh, Brian Armstrong was really allergic to it. Um, but it was a thing, it was a vasculator and you'd spray it and it would turn, you were like red, but if you tanned a lot, it would make you look even more tan, but it also bring your veins to the surface. Right. So you look more, you, you look more pumped up and it, yeah, it was called, God, you said it exactly. Literally. I had no problem with it. And one year, all of a sudden I went to spray it. And I, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. So you, so you could become allergic to that stuff, but you're right. Everyone wore that shit. Everyone wore it. Oh, who am I going to say next? Who am I going to say next? Or what am I going to say next? Uh, 